News Channel is getting answers tonight for Florida electric vehicle drivers who are frustrated with public charging stations. Those chargers are in demand. There's been a 1900% jump in the use of roadside chargers, but billions in taxpayer funding is expected to help the grid catch up. Eight on your side investigator Walt Buteau has his follow-up report. In order to qualify for federal funding, Tesla will be opening thousands of its superchargers for drivers of other makes. They'll be able to buy adapters for their vehicles to plug into the more reliable Tesla EV chargers. But the network of other public chargers in Florida and across the country is running into growing pains. How often do you run into problems when you try to use these charging stations? A lot, because usually if it's six, maybe one might be working or two. Yesterday I was in Naples and only one was working. She's not alone in her frustrations. A recent J.D. Power survey shows 24% of Florida EV drivers said public charging stations were unreliable. Miami drivers had the worst experience, according to J.D. Power, with 35% of visits failing to result in a charge. And nationally, 20% of those surveyed reported public stations were unreliable. We we're investing very heavily in uh, ways to make the experience better. Anthony Lampkin of charging station company Electrify America talked with us from Virginia. He tells us public station usage has far exceeded expectations, skyrocketing from just under 270,000 charging sessions in 2020 to 5.2 million last year and even more expected by the end of 2023. Lampkin remains optimistic the growing grid funded by more than $7 billion in taxpayer investment will catch up to demand and run with fewer glitches. The exciting thing is, is the technology is evolving uh, are very rapidly as well, and it's going to continue to get closer and closer to that gas station-like experience where people turn up, they can refuel you know, relatively quickly, and they can get on their way uh, 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 quickly and easily as well. None of the EV drivers we talked with say they are ready to go back to gas just yet, but many agreed planning ahead for long trips and having a home charger are the keys to driving plug-in vehicles right now. In Tampa, Walt Buteau, 8 on your side.